So I've been a medium since I was three years old. Oh, and wow. You go through, um, and I, I know a lot of mediums go through a phase where there's a lot of doubt, layers of doubt, uh, layers of not knowing, you know, uh, how to express what you're seeing and feeling and hearing. And then you have, uh, I come from a family of mediums. So my great grandfather, my grandfather, my older sister, they're all psychic mediums, but none of them were trained. They were just naturally gifted. And for some reason, my mom always kept me and my sister away from it um, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, growing up as a, you know, as a child, when you, when you say, mom, I see something, and the mom says, no, you don't, you don't. Mm -hmm. You start developing a lot of doubt about your gifts. So it, it, most mediums kind of stumble upon it or they lose their path somewhere in the middle and then come back to it. But yeah. eventually you do come back to it. Yeah. So do you have a memory since you, you said since you were three, do you have like a, a memory of when you first were able to, you know, see or connect with spirit? Absolutely. I, I mean, I have such, it's funny because I remember everything since I was one or two. I mean, I oh. have, and sometimes I'll say that to my friends and they're like, how do you remember what happened when you won? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just know it happened. And the, no, I, I mean, like, like, I feel like I don't remember anything from before, like I, I, hardly anything, even as a teenager. So I mean, like, I'm like fascinated. You remember being one, you remember being I, I, three. I, I think I remember <laughs> the most, I would say, uh, monumental things that happen. okay you know not obviously not what i ate yesterday yeah I of course not. <laughs> i but um my very first experience was we were um in the car going somewhere and there was this man who was on a, bike, a bicycle and he passed by the car and he was really speeding so my dad said it was in the mountains you know wasn't in the evening and my dad said that he's really speeding and he shouldn't be speeding and he's not wearing a helmet and I hope that he, he's safe. A few minutes later, a car passes by and that person was in an accident. And oh, wow. I was about three and I remember like just peeking out of the window. And suddenly I sat talking to this guy and I, I was like, mom, mom, like I see someone by the window. <laughs> and my mom was like, what are you talking about? So I was communicating with this person who had just died. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. And he was trying, he was asking me to reach out to his family to let them know that he's okay. Uh, obviously, as a three or four year old, you, you don't know what to do with it, right? Yeah. Uh, but a few days later, we found out that it was his wedding and he was out uh, distributing his invitation cards. Oh. So he wanted me to reach out to his fiance, his, you know, to be wife, to let her know that even though he was in an accident, he's, he's okay. Wow. Yeah, that was, that's my very first experience um, of knowing that I could communicate with someone who had passed away. Wow. And did your, did your parents help assist you in, in delivering no. that message? Because no. you said that they were like, kind of, you know. No, no, not at all. Um, my mom would just really try her very best to keep me and my sister away. Yeah. Uh, my sister never got to a point where she could develop it further or train. Um, thankfully, I was able to do that. So when did you pull yourself back to it or what happened, you know? So like, let's say like many people, it gets caged away. You're told you're crazy, right? And so you yeah. stop, you, you, you start to no longer use those filters or like close that off, right? So that you can operate and you can function. And then, you know, in my experience, talking to a lot of people that have it awakened, like an event sometimes happens, a catalyst, and then they're, they're rebroken open. Um, it was that like that for you or? Yeah. Yeah. It, it happened with my mom. Um, she, she fought cancer for about 10 years. Okay. And when she passed away in the last three months of her life, I was nursing her. So we brought her home and I was taking care of her and she would, she started telling me about these things that she was seeing. Like, you know, oh, they're coming to bring me home or I see this person. And everyone was thinking that she is highly medicated at that point because she was, you know, in the final stages. So, 
but I, I never doubted what she was telling me. And I, at that point, I couldn't see anything. So mm -hmm. whatever she was trying to point at, or because, you know, I'd stopped, I'd blocked myself from being able to see things or feel things. But she was pointing at people, like, you know, she'd be like, oh, he's right behind you. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, I remember this um, chat I had with her. She said to me that every night there's this old gentleman who comes and sits right next to a bed. And I said, well, why don't you ask him what he wants? And she said, mm -hmm. okay, I'll do that. A few weeks later, I asked her, I said, did you speak with him? And she said, oh, I did. And he said that he's someone in the family who has passed away and he said that he's here to help me transition when it's time hmm. and then she never mentioned it again and she was so sane about it I, mean, I she was very clear and it's not like she wanted to gossip or chat about it she just mentioned it and then let it go so yeah I think that was um that was when I was like I need to get back into this because um I remember myself sitting outside and trying to just hear things or see things and I couldn't at that point and mm -hmm. this is about 10 12 years ago okay um, I, I felt like I lost it I felt like oh you know maybe I can't do it anymore yeah but then I got into training and anyone can train um you know ourselves to become mediums so if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool product I know you want to check it out I know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.